Hi guys, today we're going to play On to Moscow, 1941 World War II Solitaire. This is a book game by Worthington Press, created by Mike Wiley, Sam Cook, and Grant Wiley. It requires two dice and a pen or a pencil, and I use an eraser. So let's dive into this and see how this game plays. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about how movement works in this game. So we're in Warsaw. We can move to Brest, Minsk, but then we have a choice. We can either go to Nerval or Smolensk. We can't double back. So if I decide to go to Nerval, I couldn't come back to Minsk and then go to Smolensk. So let's say we go from Minsk to Smolensk, cannot pronounce that, on to Moscow. Now at this point, if I go north, I cannot come back to Moscow and then go south to help the Southern Front. Conversely, if I go south from Moscow, I can't come back and clean up these three cities to the north. Now, each city is worth a victory point. That's why this is important. So you wanna pick a path that you can get your main objectives so we've got Leningrad, which is, I wrote on the map, worth five victory points. Moscow is worth six. Sevastopol is worth four. Every other city other than your starting cities are worth one. So you have to determine, do you want to take a path that's going to take you longer and you only have 20 game turns, unknown number of activations to try to get to your objectives and then clean up victory points on the other cities. So you have to plan that accordingly, and that's part of the challenge of this game. Tying into that movement we just talked about, on this particular scenario, we have to occupy at least 15 Russian cities to earn a medal. Also, failing to occupy 15 or more cities by the end of the game, we deduct three victory points from our score. Okay. Turn one. First thing we do, we roll on this chart here for resource points that we get to assign on our turn. Let's roll a six. A six gives us four resource points. We're off to a good start. So to start out with, my basic plan will be to go from our starting cities. Every first city that we attack, we don't have a, a split choice. So I'm going to, with my four action points, at the very beginning, is I'm going to assign from the Finnish front, from the northern front, the central front, and the southern front, we're going to move forward and make attacks. Well, apparently we have a Siamese weather front moving through Russia at the moment. We'll give this a second to clear, and then we can continue our game. So we had our four action points, so down on the turn tracker, I write a four. We're going to put a, a one, a one, a one, and a one. That just means on turn one, we are going to attempt to move to the next city as our activation. Let's roll for the Russian bot. White six, black two. Logistics, apply a Minus one dice roll modifier to any theater. The British Navy made Axis logistics situation and their theaters a challenge. Okay, the wording of this, apply a minus one dice modifier on any theater. I'm not a specific theater and it doesn't say all theaters. So I'm going to assume that this means on any one because it doesn't say all. Okay, so I will pick one of those. We will see finish, that's a two, a two, a two. So they're all twos. The finished front is the shortest one. So we're gonna put the minus dice roll modifier there. So, Let's roll for the finish front. We need a two with a minus one dice roll modifier. We rolled a four as a three. We now 
successfully taken our first city. Riga needs a two. Okay. Uh, by the way, it needs to be higher. So that four turned into a three. Three is higher than two. Okay, that dice roll off the table. Six. So far, so good. Two advancements. And to breast, a six. Okay, hopefully our luck stays with us. And finally, a two. A two against a two. We don't go nowhere. Okay, so I got these colored in. You can circle them however you want to mark them. I'm doing this very lightly because I plan to erase this so I can do this and you know, play the game again. Okay, that is basically the end of turn one. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's go to turn two and roll our resource points. Four gives us two, so I write two down here. Now we have limited options. So, we're going to go southern front with a one. And let's go central front with a one. Because this is at a decision point, this is at a decision point, Minsk is the next decision point, and obviously we didn't take that. Okay, let's roll on the Russian bot. 31. 31 attrition, reduce one activation for each Russian front. Okay, so what that means is we come over here to our tables and we lose an activation. Not our current turn, just future ones on all of the Russian fronts. So that's those four boxes there. Now we go ahead and resolve our two. We have from Brest to Minsk, we need to roll a four or higher. We roll a two, we go nowhere. Now we need to roll a three or higher. And we finally have gotten this. Okay. So that's two turns into the game. And we've gotten not bad advance. I would have liked to have taken Minsk. And then we would have had a decision to make. Okay, let's go on to turn three. Roll for our... our activations six there we go now we got four keep rolling those sixes see i marked my four here and we're definitely going to go warsaw to minsk again on the central front let's go to the central front and when we get there there are red and blue boxes a red box when we get to it means it's a retrofit which means i have to select a turn there but i get to do nothing i'm just reorganizing my forces and the blue box gives us a plus one modifier on our dice roll, I believe. I'll have to I'll double check that when we get to it, though. Okay, so we've spent one of our resource points. What I'm going to do, because now this is going to get tougher on the southern front, is I'm going to go to the southern front. I'm going to mark off a reserve, and I'm going to add a reserve to my southern front. Okay, guys, so when we assign reserves... We mark it off here, and as I circled it here on the southern front. Now, that gives us a plus one dice modifier, and we have to announce it before we make a roll. So we don't have to use the reserve just because it's there, but if we do, we will announce it, and then we'll cross it off. So basically on the southern front, I can have as many as four modifiers. And then that's it. That's all I can apply there. And that's the finish front gives you one. Okay, northern front, central front, southern front, each give you one. So that's four, eight, 12, 13, and here they have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So you can't use all of these. You have only 12 reserves. You have 13 places you can allocate them. Um, I'm not even sure you'd want to put one in the finish front unless it's a desperate situation and you're trying to get Leningrad because you failed miserably and have no more modifiers from your northern front. Also, bookkeeping note, I was just marking 
a one in these boxes over here, you actually mark the turn number. So I went back and changed that. So central front, we have one, two, three, one, two, one, one. Okay, so we've only assigned one of our resource points for turn three. <laughs> now I don't remember when I assigned that reserve. I will assume it was last turn on turn two because we only made the one attack. So I got three more resource points. Now, to take Leningrad is a six. We're definitely gonna need something with our northern front to get up here to take Leningrad. So on our northern front, I'm gonna go ahead and take another reserve. I'm gonna assign one. I'm gonna take another reserve. I'm going to assign two. Okay, that's three of my activation points. I wanna move into Minsk. And then I think what I'm going to do is on the finish front, we're going to go north. So on the finish front, we're going to, on turn three, attack there. All right, so let's see what the bot does. 44. 44 is no retreat, no quarter. Any advanced attempt in Russia must mark off one extra activation this turn. Okay. So, let's start with the finish. They're attacking. So we need to mark off another activation for that. Let's roll. A five, and they successfully hit it. Our other one is the central front, and it will bring up a situation we'll talk about next turn. Run into Minsk. We need a four or higher. A three, we don't go. Okay, that was a waste. Okay, that was turn three. We're now starting turn four. In fact, let me just mark those off as we go through them. We're now starting turn four. We roll a three, a three gives us two resource points. Okay. So, with that, we are going to go on the finish front with turn four. We're gonna push forward, try to get to there. We need to get some, some victory points built up. And we're gonna push on Minsk again, but we can't because we have a red Square and that red square says before we can move further, we need to spend an activation point there. Do nothing this turn to reorganize before we push forward. So we're going to go ahead and do that in our central front. Those are our two activation points. Okay, What's the Russian bot do one, two strategic bombing. If one or two planes are in play in the Great Britain box, reduce each front by one activation. If three or more, reduce each front by two activations. Currently, Great Britain, as my understanding, has no aircraft in the air. This is the maximum they could have, but currently they don't have any. Okay, just double check the rules. There are no aircraft in the air, so there is no strategic bombing does not happen. Okay, we have our two activation points. We spent one here, and now we're gonna go to the finished front. Needs a two or higher. They got a six. Oh, the finished front is doing its job. There we go. Now again, we need 15 cities. We currently have, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not too bad. Let's roll for our resource points for turn five. Six. We know that's four. We have been very fortunate. We need to push forward though. So, Minsk is now on the table and we get a blue box. Turn five, if we go to the central front, we get a plus one dice roll modifier. We're still trying to get to Minsk. So we're gonna to have to use it there either way. So we're gonna go ahead and put turn five here. 
Okay. I think we're gonna push forward. So northern front, we're gonna put a five. That's two activations. Now they've got two resources and those are built up for us to try to take Leningrad, quite honestly. And the shortest path is to go one, two. So if we look at our northern front and we go one, two, and then we can go out, you know, we have to wait, then we get a dice roll modifier here. So if we go one, and that's in case we miss a roll as well, we'd like to have that dice roll modifier when we're attacking London Ground. So we're gonna go five in Northern Front. Central Front gets a five with a plus one dice roll modifier. We are going to go Southern Front with a five. That's three out of four. And we're going to assign a unit in North Africa. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that yet. That might bite me in the butt if I don't, because I'm guessing. So you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to push forward. We'll see what the negative points do. I haven't played this before, so we got a five, a five. We're just going to go ahead and spend our five here in our finish front, so then we can get our plus one modifier to take that out. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's see what the bot does. 62. Apply a minus one dice roll modifier to any theater battle. Okay. So we get one in the central. Oh, I really do want to push forward so we can get going to Moscow. This one wouldn't hurt me. Make that a four. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start and take our dice roll modifier here. Make that a four, so we need a five or a six. A five. Man, those troops in the Finnish front are getting the job done. Now, how do we want to do this? I'm going to go up, two, either way, that's three. We're going to go ahead and push forward here for the two. We roll a four, we got that. Okay, trying to take Minsk. In the central, we get our plus one dice roll modifier. Oh my god. Uh. Oh god, a plus one dice roll modifier, roll one. Okay, in our southern front, we're gonna go Kiev. Oh, one again, okay. That's the end of turn five, guys. So I think you're getting a feel for how this game works. Pretty straightforward. Uh, to take the time, read the rules. All of it, I think, is in there. There might be a little hidden, so it might take a couple of read-throughs and play-throughs. Um, but it, I'm picking this up pretty quickly.